remaining bottlenecks in our workflow, and that is trying to identify easily what genes are associated with these particular Go processes that are enriched. And this is specific to the workflow that we've been dealing with. So most of you know how to use David, submit a gene list, submit a background, and you just let me use the demo for this particular purposes. You can look at the gene ontology, and most people are very interested in you taking this data here, um, and that's what we're putting into Revigo and how we you were able to ultimately produce that plot I showed in the beginning. So here we would <coughs> download this text file. I'm going to place it um, on my desktop. Open it. This is what it looks like. It's a, I believe, a tab, a tab delimited text file. Um, and while it's hard to decipher, but essentially what you have is all the uh, gene IDs in the same row. Um, and as in order to eventually annotate these in joining tables, we would like to get all of these, meaning all rows, things separated by a comma, into a single list. And so Giles has written a Perl script to do this. But first, a couple things have to be done to this with this particular file. Um, one is it's got to remove all the quotation marks, and we've got to remove the um, um, the, the, re the line returns. So in order to remove quotation marks, I'm using a program called Text Wrangler. I'm just looking for all of that and replacing it with nothing. I want to replace all. And then so we have no more quotation marks. This file might not even had any. Um, and then we want to make sure that the the in returns are correct and in order to ensure that we want to save the file as a Unix file and, and in fact it already is so what we might have been dealing with earlier was simply a artifact of Fritzi's file type and nobody you might not have to deal with this so this file might be good just as it is um, so in order to run this script that Giles, had <coughs> Giles created. I simply have a folder just to show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. It's also in Mac posted it on the, in the board. I place that file in my test data in the same folder got to in terminal I've got to get to that place um, I'm already in that folder called Perl I'm simply going to, to run that, that script I'm going to type Perl the name of this the Perl script and then the um, input file that is hopefully going to run it correctly several ways to do this but then what I'm going to do is simply in the terminal window, export text. I'm going to save it in my folder. That's what it looks like, and as you can see. All of the Swiss Pro IDs are now in a single column. We try to open that with Excel. The 
this is what it looks like. The only minor problem is um, you see there's a space in um, every every um, a lot of these things in front of the Swiss Pro ID, and so and simply in, in Excel you can fix this by going. Space and replace it with nothing, replace all, and there we have. So then you have your nice single column that you can take, join in Galaxy to get the, the specific protein um, that has to do, in this particular case, with your scaffolding or your reference used for your RNA-seq.